I really want to break a half. Yes. More? Yeah. Alright, you said more. Number 0.5. Point 0.5. Anyone else? Answer an early question. So, <laughs> you know, we always say find your answers on Google. Google says 21 days, but that was in 2004, and that was from a psychologist, Jeremy Dean. And, uh, you know, it kind of spread like wildfire from uh, self motivate mo motivational speakers like Zig Ziglar. He would, you know, talk about 21 days, you know, the form you have and everything. Uh, I've also found that, that it would take uh, 63 days up to 63 and uh, basically I just want to talk about how like our habits our habits and you know how we are going to go about moving forward we're in a new stage where there's like less than three months left to October 1st so let me show you guys this video real quick about uh, our habits and uh, what it's doing to us you know that we don't really know I don't know if you guys can hear <laughs> So, you guys use social media. A lot of times on social media, you see on Facebook all these wonderful, you know, posts about like, look at me, look how great I am, and everything like that. Well, you don't want to see depressing things about, oh, my cat died, my uncle died, everybody died. <laughs> so, you know, more or less social media tends to be a little bit more positive. I don't want to say it's a fake version of yourself, but there's reasons why people do this because no one wants to see, you know, negativity or things that make them feel bad. Another thing is uh, our memory, you know, we don't use calculators all the time now. We don't, uh, we don't do mental math anymore that much. We don't remember phone numbers. I can't remember addresses, phone numbers at all to save my life. Like, what's the point? Well, you used to be stronger, you know, as an individual. Like, yeah, you can rely on the computer to do the work for you, but, uh, you know, I don't know if it's good or bad. Like, things are easier, so it's, uh, I think that it's, uh, important for us to, uh, find a balance as far as, like, using tech and everything like that. Another thing was, uh, that was going on with tech and everything was uh, phones. Our phones are so powerful now that uh, we don't really need to uh, use, you know, use computers in the sense that uh, we can just learn from mobily. And mobily, uh, I was reading about how uh, it's affecting everything as far as religion and you know, people they don't know which way, you know, especially like with Muslims and everything. I was studying uh, about, you know. Ramadan and everything, how they use the phones to uh, pray and know which direction they get called and uh, they tell, you know, they're literally like just contacted, you know, throughout the day, you know, how to, you know, observe their religion. So phones, you know, it's really positive and everything that, you know, they've made everything easier, but then at the same time, you know, I don't know if these habits are necessarily great because, you know, they say right now that tech is kind of uh, intruding on religion in the sense that, you know, people aren't really going to the physical places anymore. They aren't going to the temples and to the, you know, religious institutions as much anymore. So, you know, we, we're connected, but I don't know if it's really great or not. The workplace. So I really want to talk about tech here in the sense that uh, we have a dirty kitchen. So I don't know why we have a dirty kitchen because, uh, you know, it's not necessarily professional to be a tech place and not have you know, a wonderful, clean kitchen all the time. So our habits need to be changed. You know, we don't have 21 days, we don't have 63 days, but uh, I implore you guys to make sure that the kitchen is clean all the time. <laughs> so if you like to clean dishes in the morning, uh, you know, at night, we need to shut down the kitchen and, you know, I would like sometimes cover for other people and clean the kitchen for them, you know, wash the dishes, but, uh, we need to make sure that, you know, everything's sanitized and up to par. So, you know, don't just rely on the kitchen officer, you know, each and every one, you know, I know that we all wash dishes, but let's say that you never use any dishes or you don't, you know, bother to, you know, feel that, oh, this is not my dish, then you can wash someone else's dishes. It's not going to hurt you <laughs> to do that. But uh, if you are, 
lazy, I don't wanna say you're lazy washing dishes, guess what? An alternative solution, use the plastic silverware. We have plenty of plastic silverware that's on the, on the table, so you can use the plastic silverware. Last thing I probably want to cover about your habits. Uh, yeah, how long do you think it should take you to uh, stare at a computer screen? Like, you know, how long do you think staring at a computer screen would take? Like, how long should you stare at it? A day? Like, in general, like, in a day, like, you know, is it okay to sit in front of a computer all day long? Or why do we, you know, what's the optimal? Depends on the project. <laughs> 25 hours. 25 average. hours. Average. Well, they say that uh, you should try to like you know look away from a computer screen or a tablet or a phone screen every 20 minutes, so you don't want to get eye strain. I know a lot of people you know when we when tech really started to take off and become more mainstream, a lot of uh, businesses and entrepreneurs they start getting into. Uh, eyeglass companies because they saw like you know down the road like you know this generation they're going to need eyewear and you know I don't want to say they don't become blind but uh you know make sure that you don't uh stare at a computer all day long stare at video games all day long you know it really does uh, put a strain on your eyes and uh, you guys can like look into that and uh another bad habit was tech neck I don't, I don't know if you guys know about that but when you stare at your uh, screen all day you like this all day so you'll get a, a neck injury in the long term. And so you can like, I don't wanna say you have to sit on the public transportation, hold your phone like this or anything like that, but uh, make sure that uh, you have good habits and uh, you know, it's pretty much all the answers are online and you guys can research and I'll post some links up too, let you guys know. That's it.